Hi, Al here with a quick review and preview of the HTML reports generated by my Google Meet Attendance extension. Quick reminder that my extension, the Google Meet Attendance extension, has a green check mark for its icon. There are a number of other similar tools with confusingly similar names, but they have different icons. So just want to make sure that we're we're talking about the same, the right thing, the right beast here. So these HTML reports are generated automatically for you at the end of your class. It will show you who attended, who was absent. It will show you when they arrived, when they departed, and represents that in a, in a visual fashion. So we can see that, for example, this student was there for the first 19 minutes of the class, but then dropped out for some reason or other. This student may have slept in and only was there for the last 10 or 11 minutes of the class. If the, uh, the green bars are a little bit too confusing for you, we can click on the column heading, where it says 29 names in this particular case, and there we have the same sort of information in a textual format. There's a drop-down list here that allows me to select and go jump to the HTML report for a class that was held on a different date. So we can jump to the see what things look like, what the attendance looked like on June 8th if we wanted to. Um, something that's new that I'm adding in the reports right now, and I'm looking to gather feedback from you before setting it out to the wild, is the ability to summarize the attendance across multiple classes. So here I've got the class that was held on June 18th and going back to June 1st. So I've held down the shift key to select all of those. I could also use the control T key to select some or all of them. I have to select the files that I want to include or the dates that I want to include in the report um, in, in the summary because we're not saving things to a database. Uh, I'd love to be able to save things to a database, but that adds a whole layer of privacy and security issues that uh, just don't have the time to address at this point. So when I select my files, it creates now a list that summarizes the attendance patterns for each of those each of those classes. So here on the uh, uh, 1st of June, I had a comparatively short class. It was only 15 minutes. The next time we met on the 3rd, it was actually a 73 minute class. And so the column widths are adjusted to reflect the, or represent the, uh, the, the length of the class. Within the class, we can see that this student arrived at 937, even though the class started at 930 and stayed there for the the full, um, till the end of the class, or almost the end of the class, it looks like. Here we have someone who seems to have slept in once again. And once again, of course, the pink reflects the fact that uh, the student was absent. And so that's something that hopefully gives a good visual representation of the attendance across multiple lessons. If you have any questions, concerns, or feedback that you'd like to help me make this better, um, please get in touch with me. There is a button in the report questions or feedback, when you click on that button, it jumps you or opens up your email application and uh, gives you a pre-formatted uh, email. There, uh, Of course, if you're looking for help, you may want to t check out the Facebook page or perhaps the videos that already exist in my YouTube channel. Otherwise, please include screenshots and other textual information that will help me to uh, assist you with your, your questions or concerns. So. If you have any uh, feedback, look forward to hearing from you. I hope to get this into the uh, into the uh, product in short order. Um, take care, stay safe, talk to you soon.